What is up, guys? We are talking case with Mario yes, Ford. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. It's almost Christmas. It's almost Christmas. Big exciting day. news coming. Uh, we got some great stuff today. It's going to be going to be awesome. Big announcement. Hope I don't get in trouble, but this is going to be big. It's going to be fun. Yeah. It's time for guys talk knives. <laughs> Welcome to Guys Talk Knives. We are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. <laughs> the uh, the biggest seller of case. Absolutely. 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 Our no number doubt. one brand across all brands. It's the way it should knife. be. It's the way it should be everywhere, it's, right? It's, yeah. Basically, yeah, that's, that's my vote. I, I really feel like sometimes that Smokey was built around Case over the last 40 years. So the relationship with Case and Smokey has been phenomenal. Obviously, um, the founder, Kevin Pipes, and uh, the guy I work for, Ed Jessup, they've been working together for over 40 years. And just Case and Smokey have had just an unbelievable relationship. A lot of unique stuff has come out of that. A lot of great ideas. Uh, I mean, some of the very first... Um, case collectibles yes. in the sense of doing something special like an SFO, those come out of that relationship. Yes. Yeah, a lot of it, the creativity has never been a problem. And uh, at Smokey, <laughs> as you can see with all of you guys' stuff, at Smokey there's always plenty of it. And at Case, uh, we've allowed, we've been able to kind of roll that into uh, building a collector base, building a real strong consumer base. That's and sure. uh, real excited about that. Real excited about some of the stuff we've got to come. So. Well, here's what's awesome. We had you on today, and uh, if you're watching this right now, we've held this show to show it to yes. you special because you've got some top secret information yes. that you're going to share with us. And when you talk about collectibles, the stuff that Mario's going to talk to us about today is just this it, is it. it. It's it. It's it. You know, at, at Case, everybody knows we're the most collected brand. Now, we want our knives to be used, a lifetime guarantee, fantastic, but. There is a level of collectability with any case knife and a lot of the things that we do uh, for sure. that people follow. It is amazing to me. I've worked at Case for almost 28 years, and people that are consumers know more than I do. And, and she's it's, laughing because she's not that old. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I, I, know. I so, didn't worked at Case yeah. six years longer than she's, she's been, been alive. alive. <laughs> I know it. I know it. So it, it's, it's been a long time. But uh, hey, I, I've seen her. I've seen I'm her work. Now. She's learning. She's learning. Um, but at Case, anytime we make a change, anytime there is a historic event, then that becomes very collectible. Okay. And we're really excited about we're entering the dawn of a new decade. Yes. And with that, if you look at the dating system of Case, you look at the knives that are the most collectible, the most sought after, uh, they tie into a tang stamp and they tie into a dating period. Yes. So we have the tested So talk era. in general, before we jump into that, talk in general about, and I don't think a lot of people out there know, well, a lot of people do know, right. but a lot of people haven't had the experience of trying to figure out how old or when a case knife, and, and you have a system for that. We, we have a system. I so. have a system for that. Yeah. <laughs> I asked Tony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that may be the best system going. <laughs> Sorry. So, no, absolutely. But, so we have uh, Case dates their knives. Now in the early parts of Case, it was a period stamp. And uh -huh. that wasn't really intentional. It was more we would stamp. Uh, when a die would get worn or wear out or break, they would switch to a new die. Uh -huh. and, and that just happens to be period stamps in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Right. Um, from 1920 all the way to current, uh, you, can, you can narrow that from 20 to about 69, it was it was period stamp too. There was about three primary right. period stamps there. The tested, the USA. The, you'll you'll hear people refer to their knife as I've got a case USA. Yes. Well, they're all USA made, but they're referring to that period of stamp right. that says they're USA on the on the tank right. stamp. Yeah. Um, so those periods. Now we started in 1970. Uh, we realized that this was this was really something our consumer was interested in. So you can tell from 1970 until present day, you can tell which year your knife was made right and we started with a series of dots and we removed a dot start with 10 dots you'll hear oh i've got a 10 dot i got a right. 10 dot case knife well that was usually they're referring to the 70s period right. it could be the 80s uh, it could even be the 90s but right. um, 1970 was the start of the 10 dot and we took a dot away every year so in 1979 we had one dot left we changed the location of the dots for the 80s. That was a big deal. We changed the decade. Right. Uh, we did that again in the 90s. Um, right. The Millennium set. We did the Case MM set. We went to a series of dots and X's. Uh, in 2010, we kind of did some changes to the logo and switched up the X's and dots. So we had another one. And now we're to 2019. We're at the dawn of 2020. Um, very historic event. So we're about yes. to announce, which we have not yet. Um, we're about to announce to our consumer base and to mm -hmm. the world. Uh, what our 2020, the decade of 2020, so 2020 to 2029. Nice. What that stamp will look like. Before you That's show cool. us that that you have right here, I want to show these guys. Yes. John, if we can go to camera two, if you don't know what a tang stamp is, 
the tang stamp happens on the actual tang of a pocket knife or even a fixed blade. And it is a, a usually demarcation by a brand that made the knife. And in this case, Mari, I can't see that one. What is, what, this is. So there, this is a 2019, so right. there, there is one X left on that knife. Okay. So it, again, we started with dots and Xs. Right. And we took one away. There is, a, there is a system for how we remove them and we're to the last one. So you will see that, you will see that on these products. Um, every, all of these products should be 2019. Right. Uh, and you'll only see one X left. Um, so I know from my experience, when you change years sometimes, there yes. are a few that get made in the 2019 starts to get a 2020, or, yes. a, or a 2018 starts to get a 20. And I know people just, they go after Oh, it, if, if you like found crazy. a knife that was a 2019 edition, but had a 2018 blade in it, which that happens. I mean, yeah. you know, our knives are specific. We have pattern numbers, so that's, right. another, that's another education piece. But so knives, blades may not be interchangeable, but if it's a bone handle, it could be interchangeable. And right. we make parts, we have to plan production. So right. uh, sure. one of the reasons that it's November and we're announcing, um, what our new tang stamp is, is we have to start production of that new tang stamp right. to be ready in January. Okay, so, so without we try to time it. We try to show time us it. what this thing looks okay. like. Okay, I need everybody to, to promise you won't tell anybody. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cross our hearts, yeah, that's right. scouts that's on her. Right. We so, will not tell anybody so, who won't be watching this. So, right no, it, 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 is a, it is a really big deal for us. Okay. So, I did bring something, and without further ado, we will. Uh, We'll announce this. We, we had some samples that we're, we're working on, but uh, through the model shop and through everything else, we're, we're not quite there yet. So um, we want to get the word out. So. Right. And we'll show you the real products as soon as we have we them will. in hand. And, and they'll be coming before long. I can tell you that uh, uh, Kevin, the wheels are turning and there's going to be some exclusive stuff from Smokey yes. that is going to celebrate and, uh, and offer some really special items. Nice. But, um, Without dragging this out too much further, <laughs> let me. Uh, it's the You're anticipation. Worse than Tyler Pipes on this it's film. the anticipation. Yeah. Man. <laughs> so, um, so here is going to be. If they can see that, uh, it's going. We're going back to. Yeah, one right there too. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so we're going back to ten dots. You know, I nice. told you in cool. the, in twenty twenty we started with dots and X's. Uh, twenty uh, ten, uh, we went. We switched the location. Right. So we're going back to a ten dot system. It'll right. be. Uh, five dots above the case double X and five dots below. There's things in this like the Lightning S in the case. Um, yes, I'll dig that. I noticed that we don't have the long tail C anymore. Right, so it, it, we're not getting away from that. But when you look at the Tang stamps, so in the 2020 era, um, we had a. I'm just glad that wasn't me. I'm you want everybody me. here a beer. Right. You, no, you know what? Me. They're calling You're her about this tank stamp already. <laughs> we just put it up here. You know what I'm saying? Swags is everybody's connection to all this stuff. They're like, Swags, get me one of those for you later. That's right. Gotcha, um, guys. Yeah, that's right. So in in twenty uh, in twenty two thousand, uh -huh. uh, we had the long tail C. Right. And then in uh, twenty ten, we had the other long tail C. We did a curved version. We did the straight mm -hmm. version. So in 2020, uh, it's going to be just the kind of the block letter C like uh, with it. the lightning S. Uh, yeah. And and just like others, we will take a dot away. Uh, we'll we'll start to remove start dots. Start moving them around. Um, yeah. There, there's a system about it. Yep. And it'll it'll end similar to what you I see. I begged with, with him the, upstairs <laughs> to let us show it, and he. Well, you know, I, <laughs> I get it. I totally. I don't get know it. that I have a 28 year at case. If I do that. <laughs> so uh, no, this is uh, this is good stuff, and this is one that you know. Again, when we start a new decade, more than any other date stamp that we do, the beginning of a decade is what people are going to want to grab. They're going to want to get those. Uh, they're going to want to see the new introductions, uh, the patterns that we do with these. Can so, I say that I dig the vintage feel of that? It, it is vintage, uh, and I yeah. uh, thank you for because I've seen that. some very old um, hunting knives that have yes. that lightning S in yes. them, and I love it. Yes, so we'll, we'll do a, a few different things with that, but, uh, but yeah, that lightning S is, is really cool, and it, it's, got a, it's got a great crisp look. I think it'll look fantastic on a Tang. So this is gonna be, this is your favorite stamp, right? Uh, of course, of course, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> that's that's right yeah, now. Right yeah. now, yeah, until the 20, uh, 2021 stamp, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, this is, this is gonna be the, the best one, I think, that, that we've had. It's gonna be a lot of, uh, it's really a lot of consumer. It, it is, yeah, it I, is. I, I'm like Andy, I love, the, I love the vintage. It almost has a, with that lightning S, it almost has a, a Greek feel What it to has it. is that hand-stamped feel. Yeah. Yes. It has it does. that hand-stamped feel to As it. As if somebody sat there with the, with the ping, letters with and actually yeah. and just popped them, tacked them each other. Yeah. 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 Well, and, and part of the deal when they design it. That's what Maury does. It's yeah, that's, that's, that's part long. of what I do. That's part of what I do. <laughs> but part of when they design it, obviously, uh, we have the the big presses and we have to stamp them. You know, if you look at progressive stamping the way we do our blades, we stamp the tang, mm -hmm. uh, and then we 
you know, we stamp maybe the, the hole that's going to hold the blade that the pin will go through, and then we stamp out the, the blade. So it's in a it's in our tool. So we sure. need something that's going to stamp, it's going to be clear, yeah. and um, and this is going to work really well. It looks so good. And normally I your pattern it. numbers and the uh, USA go on the back of that. They go on the blade. back or the secondary blade. Okay. Now, those are single blades, so yeah, we'll put right. uh, we'll put some, you've got to put country of origin, obviously. Right. Uh, we have to put the pattern number because, again, that's that's a big deal no, for case folks, too. Yes, it people, is. Though. Yeah, it really, really sure. is. But oh, yeah. it, it identifies it, you know, with the handle and the number of blades yeah. and the pattern and everything else too. But um, so yeah, that's our that's our big Thanks. announcement. That's our big release, and uh, that is awesome. Be fun. I love it. I appreciate you that came just to show us. that. I did, but I'm going to make you show us some other stuff. Hey, that's that's good. While you're here too, because <laughs> Christmas is that's upon good. us. Yes, yes, it is. Yes. It is upon us right now. We're running into the biggest sales season of the year, and yeah. there is nothing probably more special to be dead honest than getting a case knife in your Christmas stocking yeah. or under the tree, yes. or giving a case knife. There is something about when the uh, Guy, it was the the pumpkin pattern? Oh yes, the, yeah. the old school logo yes. came out. My, my my wife's uncle, and he's he's around my age, um, but he um, he collects peanuts. Oh yeah, so I bought him one, and he freaked out. Yeah, and there's something about giving that case knife to a collector who then goes. Wow, I hadn't seen that, or I wanted one of those, or man, it's gonna look great in my collection. That's so much fun. It really is, and, and you know, I've said this for years in case, and we're very blessed that uh, people care as much as they do about our brand. But when you give someone a case knife, um, it's kind of a symbol of how much you, they mean to you. Yes. You know, oh, yeah. so whether yeah. it's you know, you hear a lot the father son passing it down or grandfather grandson, uh, but just from friend, friend to friend, friend. It, yeah. it is it's like wow, you know, they must really like me. Yeah. Give me a case knife. So and you're giving somebody a tool that's American made, that's thought out, that's special, that's usable. Yes. And has that it, it? Well, I mean, just the the difference in the four sitting on the table right now. Yes, they they all have that their own significance. And so let's talk about them then. Yeah. yeah, you know, because I think we have some really cool new stuff coming from Case that is in the Christmas catalog. Yes, it is yes. in here in the it, building. It, yeah. Finally, yes, Mari. Yes. Hey, I couldn't come today if it wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> I did come in the back door, but I would have had to really. I'd have had you meet me down the road, man, if it, if it wasn't in stock. So let's talk about the burgundy Kieran. Yes. Oh. Yes. So I'm going to show this, and Maury, you can tell us all okay. about it. So this know. is our teardrop, the burgundy Kieranite. You know, we started using Kieranite a couple of years ago, and the handle is just amazing. It's it's got a it's got a great UV protected finish in the handle, and and actually one of the beauties of Kieranite is the more that you handle that knife, the more you use it, uh, the sheen of that Kieranite actually mm -hmm. get, it, it gets shinier. It's not going to dull. It's going to get better. Uh, but the coloration and and to me really. Just the vibrance of that is fantastic. And of course, that's a Tony Bowes uh, teardrop pattern. Right. Yeah. Uh, one of our great patterns. Put that bow tie shield in there just to kind of really accent it. And uh, this so is a you're great looking pattern. At, it's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? I have to say, right. it, it's so pretty. Yeah. You're looking at True Sharp Surgical Steel. This is a one bladed teardrop. Yes. It has the burgundy Kieranite handles. We've got a bow tie shield there. Uh, we have nickel silver bolsters. I read the word fluted. Is it actually fluted. called so, fluted? Uh, we, we call it fluting. Someone will call it, uh, you know, we, we do strike, strike lines and yeah. some. Uh -huh. and, fluted. But fluted actually because that's a that's a secondary process for us with our with our laser okay. equipment. But uh, we just put that, and that, that's kind of reminiscent of some of the older patterns. Right. What, is, what is fluted? Fluted See that is that, stripe right there? That line on the bolster? Fluted oh. is that strike line on the bolster? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so no, it's um, but yeah, it's it, it really it really accents that well, and that that's great. You know, it's a lot of times at Christmas you'll see from case stuff that are red or green. Uh, it's not intended necessarily to be a Christmas knife, right? But certainly in season, it uh, it's very. And, and you've done the red pearl Kieranite, you've done yes. the green pearl Kieranite, yes. and those are gorgeous. But this, to me, uh, uh, Melina and I did a Christmas tree years and years ago. It was my favorite Christmas tree yeah. we ever did. It was burgundy gold. It was almost FSU. Yeah. Oh, right. Well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, but this screams that yeah. that vintage Christmas yes. feel, even though it is not a Christmas knife. Right. Jason, how many patterns did we have? Six total. Six are on the web. Website right now, if they're not already sold out, uh, get you one of these. They start at what price point? Start at fifty nine ninety nine. Fifty nine ninety nine. I think they go up in the seventy dollar range yes. somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but again, fit and finished on very these. nice. Oh, half stops. Yeah, you got some half stops well, in this. Most one? of our <laughs> Tony Bowes designs, you'll find have a half That's stop. That's because Tony, Tony loves a half stop. Tony loves a half stop. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, he's such a good. Guy. I, I do like he's it. Such Tony's a good amazing. Guy. Tony's amazing. He's oh, uh, so he's great. become. Uh, we're very fortunate that he's become one of our best friends too. Yeah, fingers. Probably because he's so much fun to be around. Uh, you oh, know, we love Tony yeah, on this show. Yeah, he's a he's a genius, but he's so much fun to be around, and uh, yeah, his yeah. stories are 
His stories are legendary. Are epic. Yeah, yes, they, they, they are. are. Yes, um, they are. They're just like him. They're they're legendary. <laughs> So to me, I love this teardrop because it just slips in your pocket so yes. easily. It is one of those that you don't, you're not even going to notice it's there. It is a great little yeah. one-bladed Something traditional like slip joint knife, and it just works perfect. Yeah. And the teardrop to me has just enough girth and heft in right. the handle that, again, these are usable tools. These are things yeah. that you can put in your pocket and pull out and open an Amazon box with. And, and it an, feels an great. apple with. Yeah, cut an apple with, whatever. Or it just orange, feels really, really good. Mango. Whatever kind of hand fruit Whatever you're hand into. Fruit you got. So that's the Curanite, the Burgundy Curanite. That's brand new in the catalog right now. You yes. also have Brown Sycamore, which yes. I just I totally that, love this. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Yeah. Thing. It, you know, Andy, we have started, as folks have seen over the last few years, we're trying to do more with just natural woods. And uh -huh. wood on a traditional case slip joint pocket knife, there's something about it that really just... Uh, uh, it's very appropriate and yeah. it's very classy looking and I think that sycamore you know just look at the character in the wood um, right. and then you look at that with that propeller shield that we have um, right. now that's also another Tony pattern I see you guys have uh, definitely Tony Bose fans I here. love this yes, uh, way back I love a Warren Cliff and yes, that's why I grabbed it yes all right. this one also comes in the tribal lock I'm pretty sure as well uh, yes yes, it does. yes uh -huh. it does so uh, and, and that tribal lock's also a Tony pattern so uh, man we have a theme going here nice. uh, so, <laughs> so that is, that is good but uh, yeah that sycamore is new what you'll find a lot of the product families that are in your Christmas catalog and this is not a this is not a ploy to get everybody to run to the website, but I will say that it those are, well, I'm saying that those are <laughs> those are in high demand and yes, the production are. quantities on those are a lot less. So when we make a production run, right. you like to have stop there? I do. Yeah, there you go. When we make a production <laughs> yeah, quantity on that, and sometimes it's limited by the amount of wood we can get, sometimes it's just capacity and manufacturing, we may only make seven or 800 of those and you know they're gone usually, usually from us they're gone almost immediately and then the quantities that you have for the catalog are not going to be able to be replenishable, mm -hmm. uh, which gets me in trouble sometimes, but um, but they sell quickly, yes. so it's good. That's what I always say about these case knives as they come out, buy them, Yes, because if you don't, you're going to miss them. The one thing, let's hit the highlights here real, real quick, guys. It's it's true sharp surgical steel on the blades, nickel silver bolsters. You've got the propeller shield on this one. Uh, I'm struck by the fact how near and thin yes. this knife is. Yes. I like that about it. It's sycamore wood. so. There, it's hard to use wood. I don't know if people yeah. know this. It was used traditionally a lot, right. but curing wood right. to be on a pocket knife that it gets moist, yes. that goes in your pocket, that gets hot, that gets cold, is not an easy it's task. It's not an easy task. And that you're not making one at a time because right. you're producing these. That's the question I had. So how how do the, 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 the folks who design these, great. how do they choose which woods work? Because you guys have done more of those. And then how do you source that? Well, the sourcing has become the biggest problem. Like Andy said, you find the wood, um, you have to have it stabilized usually. Sure. So you go yep. through a stabilization process and and there are woods that even stabilized, um, you know, there can be some movement. You have to warm, you have to heat them up when you're handcrafting yeah. it. Right. Um, and some things that, it, we've used wood that was antique river log. You guys may remember that. Mm -hmm. And it was at the bottom of the Ohio River for literally uh, 200 years. So you think it's probably settled all it's going to settle, but <laughs> you bring it out and you start you start manufacturing with it, and that wood's all over the place. Right. I'm like, that's crazy. How can this wood that's so old that's been yes. soaked in water for 200 years? What could be uh, more stable? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, uh, but it, uh, it it does. So we, when we source and then we try to find exotic woods. So sure. you know, folks like things that <laughs> you thought you grabbed it. Folks <laughs> like folks like things that they you know you're not going to see everywhere. So sure. we'll do sycamore. We do a lot of curly maple. Um, we do some things like that, so we're looking, and we're look always looking for uh, for other patterns in wood. Um, but sourcing it is our biggest challenge. I and can then, only imagine. And, and what people will see is like if if you do not have wood stabilized, and you would put that on that knife, it begins to pull away from the bolster. Yes. So you mm -hmm. do not have the excellent fit and finish that you have on that particular yes. knife. Yes. It'll start to shrink. You'll start to see pull away yep. there. Sometimes it even uh, it cracks because at the pins it pulls from the pins. Right. Sure. Um, we saw that in some early knives, even in uh, celluloid and things like that. As oh, they, yeah. As they m moved, I guess, on the handle. Sure. Right. And you wouldn't think, but you're exactly right. It, it does. Happens and more you, often you, than you think. Yes. Uh -huh. And you wonder back when, when these were originally designed, it probably wasn't an issue because they, they would just take it and either have somebody put a new handle on it or make one themselves. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and there probably was no assumption that, okay, this knife is now going to have to exist in this fashion in this state for 50 years. Right. But you're right. talking about, <clears throat> and, and not to get too technical on this, you're talking about a time, let's say back, Shatton Morgan, back IXL, 
Yeah. All those brands, you're talking about late 1800s, early 1900s. Their use of stabilized hardwoods right. was much greater than ours is today. Completely. So they had a better yes. feel for what was right. going to happen yes. with yeah. stabilized right. hardwood right. at the time yeah. than we do at this point because we're using composite materials, right. new materials, and all that other stuff uh, that's there. So us using, or Case using this, I mean, yeah. that is hearkening back to some really great, really cool stuff. It really is just a That's a sweet man. That's sweet, tuned. man. I'm telling you, you yeah. drop that in your pocket, you do not know it is there. You yeah. could probably I may have just carry a couple that. of Christmas presents. Yeah. There you go. Just no. saying. So, and as Tony Bowes would say, since we're talking Tony, this feels like it's a it's a commemorative show for Tony. But um, <laughs> They should this, all be commemorative shows. This gent shows knife, Tony. this uh, swayback gent, uh, he'd say that's sexy. You know, because yeah, you is. see, you yeah. see yeah. the curve in that, you see... Uh, you see the fit and finish, and it, sure. it really is, it's a handcrafted work of art, but it's a, it is a, it's a fantastic What gets me on this way back is how nicely it looks closed, yes. and then how bizarre it looks open, right? You feel like you've got an upside down knife, but yes. in hand, right. it is darn it's near perfect. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And just the fit and finish right here, you're looking for that on a traditional. Right. That nice, yes. smooth joint. You can feel it. You don't feel any difference between the bolster. I was going to say, you bolster. shouldn't be able to tell. Yeah. There should be no difference between the bolster, the joint, and the actual spring, the back spring that's in there. Right. It's fantastic. Good stuff. Jason, how many patterns do we have in this, and what is the starting point? There on? are five patterns in that available now, and it starts at 70 bucks. 70 bucks. Which, to me, 70 bucks for a natural wood handle yeah. knife yes. that feels that made. good. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Come on. What a deal. Really? What a deal. Yeah. The other things that I brought in, let's jump into this real quick. This is okay. an SMKW exclusive, the sod buster. Yeah. This is the large, <laughs> not the small, but I yep. love, these are chrome vanadium blades on this. Yes. And they're stonewash finishers. Is it black wash or stonewash? It's stonewash. 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 Um, I love the look at that because it looks like somebody already worked with it and I, I didn't have to put the work in it, to it, make it happen. <laughs> it is. It looks like a seasoned... Uh, Carbon steel. It does. And, and it is it is CV, so that's, you know, we refer to it as chrome vanadium. It's actually the old carbon steel. People sure. ask, you do, you do carbon steel? So you, yeah. I just see that chrome vanadium. I'm like, no, that's chrome vanadium, but really it is carbon. Um, so that is that is the high carbon steel. Um, that without the finish, you know, you have to really you have to really care for that finish to keep yes. it from rusting. Now we have people that will take a carbon steel knife and they'll uh, they'll put in a potato or an apple, mm -hmm. kind of season it out to get a look similar to that. Uh, but that's out of the box. The finish is going to be great. Uh, it's got that. Uh, it's it's got a bluing on that, and then it goes through some uh, some processes to give it that stonewashed look. Okay. So, Jason, um, hit the specs really, really on this cool. just straight through on that. Uh, so it's a uh, 4.5 inch chrome vanadium drop point with a stonewash finish. It's a 16th inch thick blade, red synthetic handle. Is that 16th or is that an eighth? Maury, you might be the expert. It looks a little looks a little wider than the. It looks 16th. Like a little bigger yeah. than the 16th. Yeah. Maybe an eighth. Um, well, well. Put the calipers on that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, brass pins and liners, uh, four and five eighths inches closed, made in the USA. So two things I like about the uh, sod buster. I love your bird's eye. Yeah, that's uh, right. Pin right yep. here, the brass pin. Yep. I just think that's classic in and of itself. And of course, I love the stone wash blade because it looks like a knife that's been worked with. Uh, this comes in a smaller version. What's exclusive about this knife is that stone wash finish with the red handle. And this is a really different color red. Yes. Um, it is. It, Santa Claus red. Yeah. It, it's not even that. It's closer to that like new Jeep color red oh, that's yeah. out there. Yeah. That yes. almost burnt orangey red. Yeah. Uh -huh, I like it. Why do you know your colors so of well? Jeep. Uh, artist? Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> Talk better. And I will say too, Andy, <laughs> on the the stone wash finish on a on a regular line of pocket knives, uh, that's a smoky exclusive. Uh, we've done you you probably have seen some Harley Davidson stuff yes. that we did with mm -hmm. Harley, uh, but just on our regular standard run of the mill slip joint pocket knives, the only place we've used that is Smoke Knife Works. My favorite is the, is the green handled. Uh, the, yeah, the lime right. green. Oh yes, the lime yeah. green was that, Those was that was the very first one we did in stone wash for you I'm guys. I'm telling you, there was yeah. a yeah, guy who kept sending me pictures, yes. and I would have taken them every single one. He uh, he went to the Smokies. He bought his knives here. He bought yeah. two of those knives, and he just kept putting them down near the edge of the creek. Yeah. And the, that color, oh yeah, with yeah. that stone wash, just oh yes. Cool. Yeah, it, it was. Uh, it really was good, and it. Yes. We've done a lot of great families in that. And yes, there's more to come. So, yeah, you know, there will uh, be more. This is one of the favorite knives that I know that you guys sell because people actually work with that. Yes. Knife. Like my two favorite things about this: number one, it is a work workhorse yes. of a knife. Mm -hmm. It is just a big beefy knife that's ready to be used. My other favorite thing is it's forty bucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it really? Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is thirty nine ninety nine. Yes, for a case American made case knife. 
40 bucks. Yeah. With the special steel and the special yeah. finish on the steel. Yep. Um, I just, I dig it. Yeah. Snap That's a great shut. Christmas present right yeah. there. Yeah, that is a great one. Yeah. It's great it's so that cool. this year, you know, I just started back in February, so this year I think my whole family knows. They're getting knives? They're all getting knives. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I, you, we've already established that I've been working at Case longer than you've been alive, but so <laughs> it, my family, I've got a big family, and we don't uh, we don't exchange presents for everybody, so we, we do, do Secret you bring Santa. one. We do that too. Yes. And if and every year, mine's a small box, and everybody fights over it. And the one year I told my wife, I said, like, I do that every year. It's getting old. I never caught so much grief as a year. Oh, I yeah. did not have a case uh, knife yes. in, the, yes. in the running. They're like, dude, what happened? What are you doing? What, yeah, what's going on, Why man? You, I, I, I like, you have I a said, signature. You need to stick yeah, with I was it. I like, don't you all have one? Yeah. like, yeah, but I've Come got another on. one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I never have too many. I'm going to tell you this. I know you probably can't because you represent the brand, but I got my nephew so good last Christmas yeah. because I, he, they knew I do the knife thing. for oh, yes. They knew it. So he was fighting over that one. And what I had found was a novelty mermaid knife. Oh, no. Yeah, wow. he loved it just That's, the same. So but I'm hard. telling yeah. you, it was yeah. there is something about getting a knife. And uh, of course, I'm partial to case, obviously. But something about getting yeah. a knife, uh -huh. um, it's magical. So it's, it's good. Everybody in your family you, do the rest be, of the day as yeah. you're on Christmas. Yeah. Can for I sure. this? Do you need your package open? Yeah. <laughs> do we need to release Barbie from yes. her ties? Yes. And there is a knife person at every family gathering. Yeah. And everybody goes, "Hey, do you have your knife on you?" You want to be that guy you that's want prepared. To be that guy. That's guy. I'm that girl. That girl. Well, now they're going to this year. I'm that girl slides. that has like seven on me. They're like, yeah. I went to the family reunion this year, and I didn't realize one of my family members who, you know, don't really talk to you that much. They were there. They're like, Hey, you got a knife on you? I was like, Matter of fact, I do. Yeah, which one? <laughs> As a matter of fact, yeah. Your Blade Show, where you put them all in the t your pocket dump from Blade Show, that was uh, that was epic for yeah. sure. <laughs> uh, but this year, they're all going to want you to explain the knife. Hey, give me give me your pitch. Look, we don't have an hour time yeah, to right. explain thirty three knives. Exactly right. Yeah. So, so we've got la one last one to begin, and, and we have we one. have done yes. the Christmas knife. And it is the most collectible Christmas knife of anything that's right. out trapper, there. Yeah. Uh, that trapper, and we've yes. covered it yes. bunches on okay. swag reports and yeah. that stuff, and it is rolling out the doors. But I wanted to bring a different one out uh -huh. that people might not know that we have. This is the Wise Man Tribal Lock. Yes. This is the Sweet Pipe of Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Your eight pounds, six ounce. Yeah, that's right. Laying that's in a right. manger, yeah. all omnipotent. Yeah. Still sweet and innocent. Yeah. yeah. This one right here, it's a natural smooth bone, which I, or a Is smooth it really? bone. Yeah, it's yes. bone. And then they've lasered this, and then there's some dye going right. on. Yeah. Which right. Makes so this fancy. It, and it's actually a layered dye. So you actually get like the skyline, you get like the horizon uh -huh. of that, which really makes it fantastic. That is even prettier in person, I think, than yeah. the last one I've seen. I haven't seen, seen one in person totally but, right now. Uh, that's, that's but yeah, just the silhouettes of, uh, obviously, the wise men. You know, at, at Case, we have a, uh, we do a lot I around around it. Christmas. We've got we've got <laughs> things that are, um, you know, religious in nature because that speaks to a person. It speaks to their, speaks did not to their, know this. you didn't know what? I didn't know that it was different on the back. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe you, you should look more. You can't have the same scene going and coming, man. You gotta have uh, animals included. Yeah. It's really yeah, major, for goodness sakes. That. That's so, great. <laughs> So those knives at Christmas, and those will be limited. We do a, we do a short run of those. Uh, a lot of those are just available at our I'm authorized dealers. I'm going to be getting dealers. one of those. Well, this is, this is they a, will, uh, uh, they will also lock. go fast. This is a Tony Bowes design yeah, as well. That's right. I love the Find tribal the lock stop. simply because it is has it has a lock. It's a nice yeah. yeah. one-bladed knife. It is a little bigger than that teardrop, a little bigger right. than the swayback, but mm, nice, nice no stuff kidding. right there. Yeah. And we did not nice. get a huge number of those in. Oh, right. And yeah. what we got in... Most of them are they're, already gone. They're probably going to be go go really fast. Yeah. So, so where's our north star? Um, um, it, it's up here. Yeah, that's um, right. <laughs> it's way in the sky. It's way in the sky. It's this little sycamore. Yeah. <laughs> it's put it's next above. to the frankincense and myrrh. Yeah. <laughs> so it uh, that that is a great that is a great item and yeah, you know we'll do a few of those but uh, we won't do a lot. So you got a donkey. Um, you got a yeah. camel. What's that? Is that a lamb? That looks, that looks like, like a calf. A You're a calf. That's yeah. a lamb, ain't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Hey, Brahma bull here. Yeah, yeah, nice. <laughs> Gotta have them all, man. That's right. All I represent. like how baby Jesus has his leg and legs up. He's just like, yeah. ah, where? Well, yeah. Bring me my myrrh. <laughs> bring me my myrrh. <laughs> yes, because yeah. that's clearly what babies want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is the price point that is on that? So cool. I love that. Yeah, it's it one twenty two ninety nine, so one hundred twenty three bucks. But it's three and an eighth inch. True, uh, true sharp spear point blade with a satin finish, natural bone handles, Christmas wise man laser etch and color dye, nickel silver bolsters, pins and liners, lock back, collectible tin, um, four and eight inches closed, 3.3 .3 ounces. 
I just it's love great. the color on it. Yeah, I and, really it's do. Really I think that is, is so pretty. Is, is it really makes good. a huge difference to that knife. Yes. yes. Oh yeah. It does. And this, you said it, but it does come in a in a engraved gift tin. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, it is it is more of a collectible so piece. Mm -hmm. uh, it is one you could add if you've gotten the Christmas knife previously. Um, it's not like the bell shield trapper that you guys no, do right. that you're talking about, but it's right. certainly a, a short run that we do at yeah. Case. And right. uh, you can really you can use this by all means, but don't. Yeah, yeah. that's what <laughs> I was thinking. This is yeah. not one you want to take out and you know play in the dirt with. Right. God, that's so nice. What's that's nice a about that one too? It is. Yeah. That is not like just oh, it's not like small surface. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, no, you yeah. can feel that. To get that, that color, really cool that stuff. I bet that was really cool to watch in the laser we've, uh, we've gotten pretty good at it. You uh -huh. know, uh, it, it's kind of you know, 130 years old. The artisans make great knives, but we've learned to uh, utilize some technology and mm -hmm. do some things that are really special well, as well. Using a laser engraver correctly is kind of an it's art. It's an art too. God, the one we had <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like just halfway off. You know what I'm we, saying? We've <laughs> seen that. We've seen that both ways. Yeah. yeah. You can mess stuff up really easy yes, too. You can. <laughs> oh, do you know what's so cool about that? If you buy that right now from us, you're going to get this too. Oh, yes. Yes, you are. You're going to get this display and carrying case uh, from uh, from us with any purchase of 99 Is it a $99 or more? $100 purchase. So, yeah. $100 purchase. Yes. purchase yeah. $100 purchase. Of case. So, you get $100 of a case. You're going to get this. It holds 12 dimes. Yeah. Does that have brass liners? Protects them yes. with some nice That's neoprene great. here. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you also can flip that backwards and use it to display your knife. Yes. Case. Actually, we figured this out. Those are great. <laughs> Those are just we fantastic giveaways. Right? Yeah, we did. It goes one like time. this. Yep. And it becomes an A frame. So now. Yes. Fancy. Yeah, that's show paper show all your stuff right that's here. Right. Uh -huh. That's right. If you're selling them, you put all your hundreds in here. Is that what that's you right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so you just make it rain for yeah, the that's right. Nice. That's right. These are great though. $100 gets you that. Um, we always have some really cool stuff going yes. on. The oh, other thing that I will say that as a, the perfect stocking stuffer is case paste. Yes. yes. If you have not used this stuff, it is like <laughs> miracle I elixir. Yes. I, d I don't know how to explain it to people, but you can. Where, do you have your case knife on you? Yes, you do. Come on, put me on the spot. Yeah. Talk about yes. how dirty it is. This is the one she got from you yes. guys at Blade, at Blade, right? That's right. Look at her bolsters. Yeah. <laughs> look at the tarnish. At least I use hey, it. Hey, I was going to say, I am I am very proud to see that because it does look like you've used a lot. It's not she been just put use away. This thing. But if you were to take some case paste, rub it on a cloth, rub it on those bolsters, they would go back to practice. They would, they would brand. Yeah. Why didn't go somebody, back to the hand polish. Why didn't somebody bring case paste that showed them? Yes. Because you said you didn't want it. Yeah. Well, I heard you speak. You, yeah. didn't, you didn't ask it. You yeah. said you need it. And I said, I'm fine. Because <laughs> she's sassy. Yeah, that's, that's right. how it is. Uh, case paste is a great stocking yes. stuffer. There yes. are lots of great things that are out there from oh, yeah. case. If you just case go to the case, website, coonie. smkw.com, hit brands, hit case. Look through everything's there. Use your filters on the side to sort. Right. You're going to see yeah, all go, kinds of go stuff. Go to your favorite pattern. Go to your favorite, you know, whatever. I literally never use that works. part. I just I just start, and then I don't stop for like a couple hours. Yeah. And I'm I like, this is an issue. Yeah. Yeah. You can get lost in there. I, you, you, can, can. you can lose you track. Can. It's like a what time warp. I like 28,000 28, products. 28, products. Yes. Here's yeah. what you can really do. All case. It's just start randomly clicking on things, okay? And you come up with like... Things you've never seen before. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. I want that. Oops, scroll down. I want that one too. Yeah. And then you yeah. look at your cart and you're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely like, getting one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Those, those things back. Um, yeah. Priority mail shipping. That's yeah, for sure. That's right. Right. So, 2020 brings yes. in the brand new stuff. Brand new stuff. Brand, brand new, new stuff. stuff. And I'm, I, I'm excited to see what the SFOs, what these exclusives are that we yes. come up with this stuff. Um, I might have gotten to see a little bit just, of a tease. Yeah. He's such a liar. Just a, just a, just a, just a hint, hint. Just a hint. But it's going to be good stuff. Bring I know some, where you live because if that gets out. <laughs> bringing new stuff out of the vault for next year. We cannot wait to see what that yes. is. Uh, Barlow. Barlow. Barlow's Going back. Deal. Yes. So Say I'm goodbye. sure folks are familiar, but the, the vault program has been very successful. We did the Congress two years ago. Yes. Did the Doctor's Knife last year. 2019 is the year of the Barlow. And what a year it's been. It is fantastic. We've done a lot of exclusives yeah. for Smokey. We've done a lot, but um, in about six weeks, that goes back in the vault. And so buy your we, Barlow now. The, yep. We get the best exclusives, right? Of course. Of course. Of course. I like his answers. Yeah, naturally. <laughs> uh, but that is going back in the vault. So if, if we have a lot of folks that are trying to collect them all. We've got some folks that have been on the fence. Do mm -hmm. I get a Barlow or not? Um, Make Time's it, running out. Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. Uh, it, it's good. There's some new ones in the Christmas catalog right. that, that are going to be good. So, uh, But, yeah, the Barlow is going back in the vault. It's been a great year for that. Um, so what that means, in case you don't understand this, once they're gone, 
from us. Right. Once we've sold them, they're gone. They're gone. Yes. Don't yeah. call, yeah. email, and say, "Do you still have some of those Barlows? You yeah. came out with more." No. Yeah. No. It's they're like a doctor's you'll, you'll be scrounging around the flea markets and the knife shows trying to add yes. to your collection. Yep. Everybody you loves the doctor's now. knife, and now they're like, "Oh, I can't get yeah. one this year." And Jace is going to be the one answering every one of your phone calls, yes. saying, "No." Yeah. No, no, no. We Hang up for that. <laughs> yeah, that's those right. Those people are named Angela. Uh oh. Then I'll be in trouble. That's if, right. if it's the same Angela, I'll That's be in right. trouble. Uh, so different Angela. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's like, oh, thank God. Yes. Get your Barlow. Uh, we appreciate, Maury, that you come on this show from time to hey, time and tell us really, really cool stuff. Um, uh, I can't wait to see what's going to happen on the live next after this. Uh, well, they have we'll already see. seen we'll that, see. so yes. it's going to be fun. Okay, now uh, that you know. Come back anytime, especially when we have some of these new 2020 things in and have that new tank stamp. When we see what's new for next year, we'll have you back on right. and do all of that kind of stuff. In case you guys didn't know, we are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. Follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter. Make sure you are liking, sharing, and subscribing to all of these things. Whether you're watching this on YouTube or you're watching it on Facebook, they're out there. Make right. sure you're taking advantage of everything that we're doing. We're in the middle of Christmas. There's a lot of stuff yeah. going on. Yes. A lot of stuff. Jason Sign and I have been the hard at work. Yes. I know yes. this is pre-taped, but yes. Jason and I ha and Sean and everybody on the whole team yes. has been hard at work uh, really putting together some great stuff for you. Take advantage of all of that stuff that is out there. Uh, sign up for our giveaways. They yep. happen every single week, and we don't make you jump through hoops like some no. other folks out there. That's exactly. You're not going to have to fill out a review. No, that's You're that's not going to have to buy something. No purchasing. You're just going to read the instructions and get involved with those things. Do the words. words. Yes, do the words. <laughs> do the it words. is that simple. But we're going to wrap it up. John's in the back. Melina has been over here giving moral support. That is Jason. This is Mr. Maury Ford from Case. That is Swags. Yeah. And I am Andy, as usual. And this has been another as episode usual. of Guys Talk Knives. We'll catch you next time. Woohoo! Bye.